Hello everyone, this is V, Buzzing with V. Welcome to another video. Well, today's video is a swap with Becky Long. I will have her link below and also uh, above the screen. So first off, I made this little box uh, full of uh, butterflies and I added uh, a flower on top. That's an SVG file from Silhouette. The box is one of the boxes that I made um, using the jukebox file. So it's attached to that file if you want to utilize it for yourself. But um, I went ahead and put in um, tons of butterflies for her and I know she loves butterflies. So next uh, is this uh, box that you've already seen it's one of my in love art shop boxes that i made so i wanted to tackle two projects at once and so went ahead and did that and um, what you did not see was i added uh, these glittered bows that i made using some ribbon from hobby lobby and um, considering that uh, they're pink and blue and also with glitter, I thought that she could utilize them all year round. And so I made that box. I, I like it. I um, Next is a uh, DT Dollar Tree uh, box that I altered. And it is one of those larger boxes that they have in the hardware section and i filled it with these double rolled flowers which i uh rolled with glittered cardstock and patterned paper using garden party so our swap entailed of three projects that we were to swap so three for three and so um i the other the projects that uh the the, the three will come up um pretty soon here so um, these are the flowers, and uh, I hope I know she loves flowers, especially handmade. So hopefully, she'll love these ones, and uh, then she can use the box for storage. And I just made a little suitcase out of it, and uh, just decorated the front. Next is this SVG file from Silhouette. And this is my first sewing machine and I made it a miniature one. So I do have the mat uh, for my Silhouette Cameo. Um, it's a 24 inch, so I would have been able to make it bigger. However, um, I wanted it smaller to hold these little uh, sp spools. And um, what I added to them were ribbons that I picked up from various places and also one crocheted uh, braid there that I made. So I also wrapped some gold yarn on the top of this project here, added some um, butterflies and just decorated it i love it so this one right here is just a dollar tree box again that i picked up and i altered i also um, included some of these curly yarns that um, she can use as tassels and i also included the tassel holder it's gold on the side i i forget the proper name for them but um my mom made these and uh yeah she's so she crochets faster than i do so sometimes i have her help me and lately it's been it's been a lot lately she's been helping me so thank you mom for that and i hope becky loves them Next, I'm including this um, die from, um, it's a Spellbinders die, and this one was one of Anna's racks that she sent. Um, she did say that I would be able to use it however I'd want and also share it with others, and if you don't know Anna, I will have her, I will have the video that I received a rack from her linked below so next are these embellishments and these are one of the in love art shop embellishments that i made which i also tackled two projects so i also made her some of these tassels and then just decorated the bag for that also added some stitching next is this letter right here which i was very inspired by some um party decor uh pages and they usually do this for their 
um, customers and they add so much more layering than which I did. Um, I just included some stitching and so I love that. Hope she loves it too. It's just a huge shaker. Next is this beehive that I have been working on and this thing it was a labor of love you guys. It took a lot of paper to make this so if you're gonna make one of these be sure to know that you're gonna be using about seven sheets of paper so yeah and then also to make the uh, 3d bees as well so it does come in two svg files one for the bee and the other for the beehive so inside i did include um some bees and they are I think they came out really cute. I love bees, as you guys know, so I am very excited for her to receive these because I love bees, you guys. And then I made them pink, and that was um, inspired by Lou David. She sent me some pink bees in a rack. I will have that video linked below as well, and I hope Becky loves these this the bees and also the beehive so it's completely different um it's usually not a box it's uh it only has like a, if you look at the file it only has a smidge of room of, to use as a box in the red solid so i made adjusted everything and made it into a full-blown box so just a few adjustments and we have a beehive Okay, so next are these uh, pin. It's a pin and a pokey tool that I made. And this is an SVG box that I have been using for like over a year or two. And I love it. Um, I love including little uh, stuff like this. So that is my pin there. And then this is my pokey tool right here. And it, I just added some beads. I also love to add some beads that sparkle for these type of projects if you at least add one bead that sparkles it i think it just brings everything together and makes everything pop so that is the little box that i included that in i will have that svg file linked below next is this embellishment book that i also made for in love art shop and wanted to tackle two projects at once so this was the only way that i could do um, design team stuff and also swaps so it takes me so long you guys to um, to do swaps and a swap will take me about over a month and that's because I sew everything and sewing everything so here are some ticket embellishments on the other side is just the clip no not the clipboard but chipboard embellishment i made one of poochie tats tassels here um i i loved her tassels and it's just made out of um some yarn ribbon and some beads made her some of these um flowers also made her some hard embellishments that she could use on a bag topper included some flower uh um uh, what are they called clips <laughs> they're not called clips what are they called oh my goodness i would not blank so i had a little little blank moment there so paper clips my goodness so i added flower paper clips okay so i made this box out of scratch and i made it a little bit too big so i decided to put um some some goodies in there so these are some hobby lobby treats that i well not treats but in bellies that and stickers that i bought so there's some flowers some rosettes some bows some more rosettes in different colors i also added these stickers from um anna's package and also this butterfly from anna's package and then some of these craft smart flowers and then some of these jolie flowers and then some straws and then some shaker stickers that um, came in Anna's uh, package as well so thank you so much Anna all of your stuff is definitely going to my swapping buddies and I still have a lot of stuff to share with them 
And so I greatly appreciate that, Anna. And I think that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, please just comment below and I will be sure to answer all of your questions. Thank you so much for watching. This is a card and I will see you in the next video. Bye.